right, so there's the first one on our right starting today, Shannon. That was the full swing. And so it's still above the plane line on the downswing, but it sure is closer than what we started with a week ago. And then there, you taking that half swing, and it gets still that much closer. So that's good news. And then let me see, just as we go right through all of them today. And from this face on angle, again, I'm going to want you to be more behind the ball at impact instead of having 70% of your body, 80% in front. And so this was what the three quarter swing was. And you see that gets you closer to the line all the way on the downswing. And that ball starts more right. And the follow through looks better. And those arms are looking better, man. Those hands are turning over better there. And this was more the full swing, still trying to go that way. And then the full swing from this angle, trying to get the ball farther forward in your stance to give you just a little more time to close that face. And then hear it again. Right there, buddy. Closer and closer. And then here it is with that three quarter swing with the ball farther forward in your stance. And again, that's getting closer and closer. So I'm going to give you some more medicine next time. This is definitely the new blue here. With that ball much farther forward in your stance, so you can be more behind it around impact. And it'll give it you a little more time to get the face closed. Yeah, so that looks much better there. About 60% of your body behind it, whereas over here you had about 80% in front of it. Yeah. And then, I'm going to show you this. When we went out on the course there, I had you hit those five balls into number five, and then those uh, five balls into number... And so this is Taylor over there a few years ago into number seven there. Remember the flag was over here on the left side where we just came from. So this is him, him hitting ten balls as an approach. You see he was only about 100 yards from the green on the yellow, but back then that was about a six iron for him. So there's that ball dancing on the green over there. And you see he's lined up left. So see he pushed that. But there it is, up there by the flag. But he wasn't aiming there. You see he's aiming left because he's trying to avoid that rough out in front of the green if he hits a little short. Like that one landed on the green, so he hit that pretty solid, I guess. So this is controlling your full swing miss as well. Right there. See it hit out in front, but see it bounced way onto the green. It rolled 15, 20 yards. So again, he aimed left, but he hit it to the right a little too much. So there it is. Landed on the front of the green, had a little more roll to it. And the two main parts here of controlling your full swing well, miss as well, is like we're doing, working on your full swing on the video, but then secondarily, learning how to pick targets better and better and better as, as the years go by. Even if we're good at it, we can keep reminding ourselves about it. So that, like he's doing here, he's enjoying his full swing misses, because they're still in and up as putts or chips. Right there, the front edge there. So there's number nine. It looks like you get that one a little fat. Yeah, landed up right on the front edge there. And you see, he watches it like a hawk, so he can equate that feel of swing with that type of ball flight. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So he left all ten as a putter or a chip, even though none of them are a tap in for a birdie. So I like to say the purpose of an approach is not birdie. 
it's par or good bogeys just to make sure that you don't you know put it in some weird spot there where you have this crazy pitch left so there are those 10 shots and again you're welcome to come do that out here at Meadowlinks come practice like that anytime you want man and really learn a lot mainly when you feel like you know your full swings getting better and better where you kind of control it better and better and even I think it's good to go out there sometimes when you don't feel like you're hitting it that great so you can be all the more careful and learn how to control your full swing when you're not hitting it that great alright alright man any questions there I like that